Imagine waking up one morning and seeing a mushroom cloud over your city. This is the terrifying reality we could face if America was nuked. In this chilling scenario, the destructive power of nuclear weapons would be unleashed on our cities, causing an unprecedented level of devastation. The immediate effects of a nuclear explosion are far-reaching and horrifying. A combination of intense bursts of nuclear radiation, thermal flash, and a blast wave that carries about half of the bomb's explosive energy, responsible for most of the physical destruction. Within a mile of the explosion, lethal direct radiation from gamma rays and neutrons would be felt. The explosion would vaporize the weapon, creating a hot gas that radiates X-rays and heat. This could cause fires and severe burns up to 20 miles away. The blast wave, created by the rapidly expanding fireball, would have the power to destroy buildings and cause fatalities. The destructive radius of a nuclear weapon largely depends on its explosive yield, meaning that multiple smaller weapons could be more effective than a single larger one. This is not a scenario from a dystopian novel or a Hollywood movie. This is the stark reality of what a nuclear attack could look like. We've seen the devastation caused by the atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II. Those bombs killed an estimated 80,000 people instantly in Hiroshima and 40,000 in Nagasaki with tens of thousands more dying from radiation exposure. The scenario we're discussing today is unthinkable, yet it's a possibility we cannot ignore. It's not just the immediate effects that are horrifying. The aftermath of a nuclear explosion could have long-term effects on the global climate, causing further destruction. In the aftermath of a nuclear explosion, the world as we know it would change drastically. The immediate effects are horrifying. A blinding flash of light, a wave of heat, and a blast that obliterates everything within a certain radius. But the horror doesn't end there. Beyond the immediate devastation, the long-term effects of a nuclear explosion are both profound and far-reaching. Radiation sickness would become a grim reality for those who survived the initial blast. This is an illness that can cause nausea, weakness, hair loss, and can often be fatal. The environment wouldn't be spared either. The intense heat and blast of a nuclear explosion can ignite fires over a wide area, which can coalesce into a firestorm, causing further destruction. The explosion also produces radioactive fallout, a deadly cocktail of fission products and other radioactive materials. This fallout can be carried by wind and rain, contaminating large areas and rendering them uninhabitable for years, even decades. But the effects of a nuclear explosion reach even further. They can have significant impacts on the global climate. The enormous amount of dust and smoke produced by nuclear explosions can block out sunlight, leading to a nuclear winter. This can cause a dramatic drop in global temperatures, disrupting ecosystems and agriculture. To understand the potential scale of these effects, we need only look to history. The bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in August 1945 stand as stark reminders of the destructive power of nuclear weapons. An estimated 70,000 to 135,000 people died in Hiroshima, and 60,000 to 80,000 in Nagasaki. Many of those who survived the initial blasts later succumbed to radiation sickness or the effects of burns. The cities themselves were left in ruins and the environmental and health effects were felt for many years after. The destruction caused by a nuclear explosion is not limited to the immediate vicinity of the blast. Its effects ripple outwards affecting people, environments and climates far beyond ground zero. The aftermath of a nuclear war would be a world that is drastically altered, a world that bears the scars of our most destructive capabilities. The human cost of a nuclear war is unimaginable. Imagine the lives cut short, the dreams unfulfilled, the families torn apart. Picture a mother, her heart pounding in her chest as she searches for her children in the rubble of what was once their home. Think of a father, his hands trembling as he cradles his injured child, praying he'll see another sunrise. These are the faces of nuclear war. Ordinary people, just like you and me, thrust into an extraordinary and terrifying situation. You see, in the immediate aftermath of a nuclear explosion, the lucky ones are those who perish instantly. The unlucky ones are left to face the brutal reality of a world forever changed. They suffer from severe burns, radiation sickness, and psychological trauma. Their world is one of collapsed buildings, scorched earth, and a sky filled with radioactive fallout. But the human cost of nuclear war extends beyond these initial victims. Think about the first responders, those brave souls who rush into danger while others flee. They put their lives on the line, often without adequate protection, to rescue survivors, fight fires and provide medical aid. 
Their courage is extraordinary but so too is the toll on their health and well-being. And let's not forget about the survivors. They're left to navigate a post-apocalyptic landscape, struggling to find food, water and shelter. They live in constant fear of radiation exposure and the long-term health effects are devastating. Many will develop cancer or genetic mutations, their lives cut tragically short, but the human cost doesn't stop there. Consider the geopolitical implications. The leaders who make the decision to launch a nuclear weapon must live with the knowledge that they've caused untold suffering and death. And the rest of the world, though spared the immediate devastation, must grapple with the long-term effects. Fallout can cause a nuclear winter, leading to global famine. The economic and political instability could trigger more conflict, creating a vicious cycle of violence. The true cost of nuclear war is measured not in dollars but in lives lost and futures destroyed. Nuclear war is not inevitable, it is a choice. This simple yet powerful statement sets the stage for our discussion on preventing nuclear war. A topic that not only concerns governments and international organizations but also each and every one of us. Diplomacy, disarmament and public awareness are key elements in the prevention of nuclear war. They constitute the three pillars of a nuclear secure world. Let's start with diplomacy. It is the art of navigating international relations to promote peace and understanding. Through diplomacy, nations can resolve conflicts, establish treaties, and form alliances. History has shown us that diplomacy can be a powerful tool. The Cuban Missile Crisis, for instance, was resolved not through warfare but through negotiation. The power of dialogue cannot be overstressed. Next, we have disarmament. Disarmament refers to the reduction or elimination of weaponry, particularly nuclear weaponry. It's about nations choosing peace over power, humanity over destruction. The Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons, signed in 1968, is a prime example of a global effort towards disarmament. It aims to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons and promote disarmament. Lastly, but just as important, is public awareness. Knowledge, as they say, is power. The more the public understands about the horrors of nuclear war, the more pressure they can put on their governments to avoid it. In 1946, one-third of Americans were unaware of the existence of the United Nations, an organization designed to maintain international peace and security. Today, we have the tools and platforms to change that. The United Nations, along with other international organizations, plays a pivotal role in preventing nuclear proliferation. They provide a platform for negotiation, foster international cooperation, and enforce international treaties. But their work alone isn't enough. We all have a role to play in preventing nuclear war, the future is in our hands. This isn't a mere statement but a call to action. It is up to us to choose a path of peace, understanding and cooperation, over one of destruction and despair. It is up to us to ensure that the horrors of Hiroshima and Nagasaki are never repeated. It is up to us to make the choice. We have the power to change the course of history. It's not merely about being an observer, but about stepping up and becoming an active participant in shaping our future. We can start by educating ourselves and others about the real and present dangers of nuclear warfare. Knowledge is our first line of defense. We can support disarmament initiatives, organizations and treaties that aim to halt the proliferation of these destructive weapons. It's about lending our voices and our resources to causes that promote peace and security. We can reach out to our representatives, urging them to prioritize peace over power, diplomacy over destruction. Our leaders need to hear from us, to understand that we choose a path of cooperation over competition. Every one of us has a role to play. Every one of us can make a difference. Together, we can create a world without nuclear weapons, where we cooperate instead of compete, where we respect instead of threaten, where we love instead of hate. The future is in our hands. Make it a better one.